Welcome cross country parents. I'm your host, Mr. Ramsey or Coach Ramsey, because I'm coaching you. Today we're going to do a take two on rank one. Okay, so rank one is the website that you need to fill out your form so that your student athlete, your kid can be eligible. This is only for high school, not for middle school. Okay, so let's get started. Alexa, stop. Okay, so right here, I'm in rank one. To get to rank one, you just type in rank one sports.com content. I think just if you just Google it, it'll be fine. So you, you get there and you come to this place and it has parents click here. So you're a parent. So you'll click right here to online forms, schedules, and more. So just click right there. Once you click there, they're going to ask you to go to online forms. So you click on go to forms. This is for both old parents and new parents. Once you get to that thing, we are in the state of Texas. So we're going to click on the state of Texas right there. And once we, we're going to find our school. So we're gonna, I'm going to scroll down, find our school. Our school, of course, is St. Thomas Episcopal. And it's almost to the very end. So it says St. Thomas Episcopal School, Houston. And so you click on that. And then it has the welcome to the parental portal. Okay? So what you, you can click either here or here. I don't know why they have two, but you can click on it. So you proceed to online forms. And then you log in. If you are a new parent, we have your stuff already in the system, so you should be able to create a new account and then go with that. I'm an old parent because I had two of my kids run last year, and we did this last year, so I signed them up. So I'm going to type in my email, and I'm going to type in my code to get in, to log in. All right, so if you notice, you have, I have two kids right here, Retrez Ramsey and Thomas Ramsey. So you click on view. I've already done everything from Retrez. I haven't done everything with Thomas, but if you look, the first thing you need to do is get your physical uploaded. So this is what you need to do. You need to take a picture or PDF your physical from the doctor. Okay. Let's say you haven't been to the doctor this this year. Take an old, take your last year's physical and, and click that. Okay. Taps will accept last year's physical. So please either do this year's physical if you've been to the doctor or last year's physical. And you can either use a picture or a PDF. So if you click right here, it tells you how to upload the form. I've already uploaded Marie Trez's form, okay? But it gives you a choice of PDF or it gives you a choice of picture, okay? What I use is I actually use this thing called Cam Scanner. And actually, I'll show you that. Here's the website. So you know what I'm talking about. So this is this is the app that I used. I don't have it. You should, you, you should see my phone. I was going to show you my phone. Um, but I don't I use my kid's phone to scan documents and use it's called Cam Scanner. Anyway, if you want if you're interested. Okay, so I I, I scan it. I download it on my computer and then now I'm going to upload it by selecting here and then I put your, you put your name and your guardian and then you go from there okay so that's how you do the physical okay you can either oh I didn't mean to do that I have to go back um you can either do this year's physical which would what taps really wants or last year's physical so you should have a form and you need to upload that okay once you upload it I have to go back cuz I accidentally Licks it out. 
once you go back, um, you need to fill out these three forms and you need to have your students fill out these three forms. Okay, so TAPS medical history. So you fill out all the information right here, including the survey and these questions, and then you sign it. Well, your student signs it, your runner signs it. She, he or he prints it and then signs it, and then you do the same thing. All right. Once you've completed that, I might exit out. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Then you need to do your TAP student's profile. So you need to fill this one out. Okay. Add anything that you need to in emergency contest. And you fill out the question. Have your runner sign it, print and sign, and put agree. And then you do the same. Okay. And then you submit it. And the last thing is you need the TAPS signature page. Okay. And so what you need to do is click these boxes and go to these different um, tabs. Because each one of them is in, you need to read the acknowledgement of rules. You need to read the concussion protocols, the cardiac um, protocols, temperature protocols, and performance enhancement drug protocols. Okay. So it won't let you sign until you you click on these things, these five things. So I, I've i had these in my uh, manuals before, and I'll probably send you um, the links to these things, um, even though you're supposed to click on them. But you're, you have to click on them, and then you have your uh, runner sign here, and then you sign here, and then you submit. Don't forget to put agree. All right? So those are the four things you need to do, okay? Upload your uh, physical, then sign the TAPS medical history form, then sign the TAPS student profile, and then go to the sign the TAPS signature page. And that's that's all you have to do, okay? It's pretty simple, all right? Just, it's just a little tedious, but hopefully you can do that. Um, and they're due actually on, uh, on August, September 12th. So you need to do this by September 12th. And remember, this is only for high school. So middle school, you don't have to do this. It's only a high school thing. All right. Hope to see you today running. And um, try to fill out those forms as soon as possible. Thank you and have a blessed day. Talk to you soon.